Chris Kamara, 64, was diagnosed with apraxia of speech earlier this year, after his wife prompted him to get help when she noticed he completely blanked on live television. The former footballer has opened up about the condition, which affects his speech too, and ultimately saw him leaving Sky Sports in May after 24 years. Chris Kamara has appeared on the popular BBC chat show multiple times, but one particular visit saw his wife urging him to go to a doctor. However, neither she nor Chris originally thought that a speech disorder would be to blame. The beloved football star was having a delightful conversation with show hosts Alex Jones and Michael Ball when they put him on the spot. Michael asked Chris to name some of the songs on his upcoming Christmas album, and the football pundit found himself at a complete loss. Speaking to The Mirror early last year, Chris revealed that was when his wife Anne first asked him to seek medical help. She told him, there's something not quite right, you need to get it checked out. The couple feared it could be dementia, especially after Gary Lineker noted that footballers could be more at risk due to heading balls in their careers. Chris agreed to get a scan, and was booked in for March 2021, although that did untend his and Dan's squabbles over his health. The 64-year-old recalled on Steph's packed lunch a week before his scan that his wife had questioned him, saying, You're all blasé? You think you've had a fabulous career, if it all ended tomorrow, that would be fine. What about the grandkids? What about me? Get checked, there might be something you can do. Chris admitted on the show that he didn't have many worries about what the scan may show, adding, I've had a great life. The scan ultimately showed no loss of brain mass, meaning Chris's brain fog symptoms had a different cause. Don't miss, he underwent blood tests around the same time which showed the footballer had an underactive thyroid and it was revealed he had a swollen tongue. Essentially, Chris had no issues forming thoughts and sentences in his mind but transferring them into spoken word was the real issue for the sports analyst. Early this year, fans grew increasingly concerned about Chris's health as his slurred speech became more prominent during his football coverage. In response to the outpouring of concern, Chris revealed in a tweet that he had developed apraxia of speech. He wrote, just wanted to let a few of you know who tweeted me today that I am okay-ish. Alongside my thyroid problem I have developed apraxia of speech and have been working to get my speech back to normal. Some days it can be a little slow and some days it's normal. Hopefully I can beat this. Sick, Chris was flooded with support, from fans to football greats, but he later confirmed he would be temporarily stepping away from his role to focus on his recovery. However, in May the 64-year-old announced he would be leaving his position permanently at Sky Sports due to his condition, 